on March 18th, 2020, we shut down 28 corporate stores and laid off 400 employees to where we are today with thousands of employees across 60 stores in 15 states and a new store every six days. It was not, you know, there was times where I thought we were going to be out of business. Um, you know, March 19th, if you would have asked me, I would have been like, well, it was a good run, uh, you know, but <laughs> yeah. move, time to move on to something else. And just focusing on the day, you know, really not getting too far ahead of myself and the company and making sure as an organization, we're thinking through what can we do today? You know, as I like to, when I speak to entrepreneurship classes in college, I, I mentor a lot of them. You know, one of the things I always tell them is the number one job of an entrepreneur is stay in business today. The number two job of an entrepreneur is stay in business tomorrow. And if you keep doing that, you're going to have a long, sustainable company. And so over the last two years, it's been a lot of going back to that, going back to the basics of recognizing like, what do we need to do today to win the day? How do we win today? What is our goals today? What can we accomplish today? If we do that, tomorrow will deal with itself. Yeah. And through that process, fortunately, we planted some pretty good seeds that turned into pretty good trees. And we had a lot of opportunities to hit some big home runs. And as a result, I think... You know, what we're talking about today is the culmination of two years of hard work and dedication from the team and, yeah. you know, really recognizing and leaning on our core values when it's the hardest. You know, those are what they're there for. Mm -hmm. How have you, uh, I, I love the concept of, like, okay, stay in business today, stay in business tomorrow. How do you make sure that as you're navigating in the micro that you're staying in alignment with the macro and to like unpack that in a little like not nerdy language? I guess, like making sure that the vision stays the same and you're staying on track for what you want to build long term and not just being in the weeds sure. all the time. How do you balance that? Well, it's the team. Uh, truthfully, you know, it's having the right people around you and ensuring that the team of people that we have understand an, as an analogy, a simpler example is we're in San Diego right now. We want to get to Hawaii. There's lots of ways you can take your boat from here to Hawaii. Right. You can go straight west. You can go north and then west. You can go south and then west. You can avoid storms. You can go through the storms. It, the complication for a lot of organizations is they don't agree on where they're going. So they don't understand. We all agree we're going to Hawaii. I want to give you the freedom inside of your department, inside of your division, inside of your job description to choose which route you're going to take to get us to Hawaii. So long as we all agree we're getting to Hawaii, the macro takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. where companies get awry and where even we organizationally have to regroup and rehone ourselves is do we agree we're all going to Maui or do you going to Kauai and I'm going to Maui because that's different right and so as long as we all know we're going to Maui you may think it's better to go north and avoid the storm and I may think hey the storm's not that bad I want to go right through it that's okay as long as we're both still working towards Miami and winning the day yeah. And so we put a lot of boats in the water and we aim towards Miami or fishing analogy, a lot of lines in the water trying to catch mm -hmm. our fish. Um, but as long as we're fishing for the same thing or heading for the same direction, the macro takes care of itself and lets us really focus on the micro. Mm -hmm. What do we do today? What are we accomplishing today? And, you know, I, I talk about wind stacking, but that's part of wind stacking is let's win the day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's modus operandi one. Win, win the day. Focus on today. Don't get too far in the future. Don't worry about yesterday. It's over. What are we accomplishing small term today? So if it's, hey, today we need to get our FTDs in order in this state because we want to start selling franchises in Minnesota. Well, then that's what we're doing today. We're not worried that we don't have a franchisee in Minnesota yet. Mm -hmm. That'll take care of itself. We have to accomplish the, the immediacy things. And when you do enough of that, it all, it all works out.